long weekend it was. Hey, I'm still absolutely buzzing high as the sky. Just festivaling and just doing fist pumps in my life. <laughs> Trying to hack all day and um, wow, it was incredible. Just wanted to make a really quick video that I felt appropriate after the weekend. Basically in my hand here, I have something that I've never revealed before, which I am gonna reveal today. And in my hand is my drug and alcohol results from the weekend that just passed. Now, what I do is after every festival since I started my sober journey, is I take a drug and alcohol test. It's not because I need to prove anything to anybody that doesn't believe me or whatever, this, that, doesn't matter. What other people think of me is none of my business, absolutely none. What this is for though, is it's for the person that wants to start their own sober journey and that have asked me in the past, bro, are you legit with your soberness? My integrity is the most important thing to be. That's why I get these tests done so that my integrity cannot be questioned. The lifestyle I've lived by a lot of people is described as loose, especially when it comes to the party. So a lot of people will see it as drug induced, the way I party and just do fist pumps of my life, this, that. But these um, results, which I'm gonna post in the comments so you can see for yourself, proves that that is 100% not the case. Now, the reason why I've gone public with this is because on the weekend we had a tragic loss to the raving community where one young person passed away and this person was young, had their whole life ahead of them and it's just a tragic loss which broke my heart. And the reason why I'm doing this is because and, and showing about this sober option as a lifestyle is to give young other ravers out there another option and, and, and show them that you can party and have fun without drugs or alcohol. Quality, clean drugs and alcohol done properly can give a desired experience. Am I saying drugs are good? No, I'm not. I'm not saying they're good or they're bad. So the problem here that in Australia, there's no education on it. The kids hit the party scene, they have no idea what they're taking and the punishments are huge. Now, not for one second am I trying to pass the blame off the user because we need to learn to take responsibility for our own actions. But what I'm doing is just shedding some light on a, on a conversation that can be had another day. The point I'm trying to make is that fun can be had sober. Partying, festivaling, clubbing, raving, that whole scene, 100% having the time of your absolute life. In fact, time for a dance break. You don't need, you don't need these substances to have fun. Always looking to learn from the most unjaded lovers of life out there. The ones who live life in its purest, most beautiful form. I look to children when I want to learn and my childhood when I want to learn and, and refocus myself on how to love life. Never needing substances of any type back then, we caused absolute havoc and mayhem as we beamed with happiness and, and, and just such fulfillment of life. So why is it that now we feel the need to take drugs and alcohol to enhance our times? Each to their own. This message is not for everybody. I 100% understand that. And if you're happy with the, you know, the way you take drugs or whatever, who am I to tell you it's wrong? I'm not. Okay, that's not what it's there for. What I'm saying is this message is for those who are thinking of other options, who are looking and questioning their need or their or their or their reasons for having drugs or alcohol or whatever it is. Now, in a couple of days, I'll I'll be 20 months, 100% sober in every ways. And I honestly can tell you, I've never genuinely loved life more than I do right now. This last weekend, being at 100% sober at DEF CONS, the, 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 the fun I had, the run amucks I did, the fist pumps, the tans, the meeting people, so many beautiful peoples, the, um, just the whole experience. And you know what? I remember all of it. And you know what? I, I'm, still, I'm still reminiscing. And you know what? There was no headache on Monday or Sunday. There was no come down on Tuesday. There was none of that. None of that entered my life. And all I'm doing is I'm just being high as the sky all week, just off the fact that what that experience was. 
but especially if you are new to this scene, please just slow down a bit, relax, get educated, understand the risks, and know that, you know what, there is an option, and it's called soberness out there for you if you choose to take it. And you're not a gronk if you choose that option. So just remember, you can be high on life, on life on its own. You can be high on beats, tunes, hard styles, and you can just be high on the whole experience, the whole miracle that is living. And these things are pretty mad high. And in a lot of ways, it can be a lot more fulfilling and longer lasting than the short temporary highs of substances. I've only revealed these things just to give yourselves a, another option if that's what something you're thinking about. Feel free to tell your friends and to share it and do what you need with it to get this message out. Because I don't want to see anybody else lost, you know, especially, you know, while partying and whatever, unnecessarily young lives with so much futures ahead of them. So that's all from me, just, just that message and um, I'll catch you at the next rave. And remember, love life.